Whether you're shooting on an iPhone, or in this case, the camera you're seeing me through, this Panasonic G7, you're going to notice something when you're shooting in low light situations, and that is noise. Now, if you wanna create great looking content, you're going to need to learn everything about noise, and in this video, I'm gonna do just that, as well as ways for you to completely eliminate it from your footage. Hey, what's going on guys? C. Santos here, and this channel is all about helping you and inspiring you to create content with whatever means necessary. So whether you wanna learn about technology, gear, or other ways of creating content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So first, before we begin, you're gonna to need to learn one thing, and that is what noise is in the first place. Noise is an undesired fluctuation of color or luminance that obscures detail in the shot you are trying to capture. In this case, when you're shooting video, that background noise that you see, it looks kind of like grain, that's what noise is. Image noise primarily comes from underexposed footage. The pixels in your image are being boosted or over amplified by you raising the ISO, which increases the noise levels. Also, beyond exposure, sensors can become susceptible to other issues like interference. However, the most common type of noise that you see in your footage is called Gaussian noise. And this is what we're gonna talk about in the rest of this video. For example, the G7 that you're seeing me through right now is currently set at ISO 500 at F2.0 on the F-stop. Once I remove all my LUTs and everything, this is exactly how you see myself, CineD, custom color profile, and you'll see the noise values usually right in this area, but also I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it looks like properly. This is a grid where you're gonna see all the noise values based on the ISO. So the higher and higher the ISO values go up, the more and more noise is introduced into the footage. Even at the lowest ISO values, there is still some noise that's introduced into your footage. So how do you avoid it in the first place? First off, make sure your scene is lit as best as possible. This allows you to have the lowest ISO value so you can keep a proper exposure of your image, thus having less noise introduced into your footage. The other thing is have a fast lens. For example, the lens that you see in front of me is a Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8. However, I'm using a speed booster, like in my last video, how I mentioned, if you use a speed booster with a lens that's designed for an APS-C camera, you're able to get more light into your sensor, thus you have more light going into your lens. So in this specific lens on my camera is actually f2.0. So I'm able to use a lower ISO value, thus creating a less noisier image because I'm able to stay at ISO 500. It's later in the day and I actually don't have access to lighting, so I'm just relying on the light that's coming through my window. You're gonna wanna make sure you're always properly lit, and that way you keep that exposure right where it needs to be. And that brings up my next point, and that is don't shoot in the dark. Avoid shooting subjects in the dark. Try to use lighting, whether it's natural or you're bringing some sort of light to light your subjects or your set, or if it's a scene outside in the dark, try to keep some sort of light on your subjects so that way it reduces the amount of noise that's gonna be showing up in your footage. And finally, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you properly expose the subjects or the scene that you're filming. Now, all the other things I mentioned will help you reach that perfect exposure when it comes to shooting video. When it comes to shooting photography, you can get away with shooting a super high ISO because you're having to shoot with different shutter speeds that allow you to get away with using those different ISO values. However, when it comes to shooting video, you just gotta work within the limitations of the camera system that you're using that produces less noise when you're shooting at a shutter speed, like in this case, one over 60. And now for my Panasonic G7 owners out there, there are three things you need to know in order to reduce the amount of noise in your video. First off, don't shoot at a higher ISO than 1600. Anything between 200 and 1600, as you'll see in these examples that I've recorded, produces the least amount of ISO noise. And anything higher than 1600, you're gonna see at a super increase in noise. The second thing is if you want the least amount of noise produced in camera, you're going to wanna shoot in the natural profile. As you can see in these examples here, the natural profile produces the least amount of noise in camera. And the other thing is you're just making sure that you choose the right ISO based on the subject that you're shooting. Like I mentioned earlier, choose the ISO based on the situation or scene that you're filming and making sure it's properly lit. So now if you, for whatever reason, shot some footage and it's noisy for whatever the reason is, wrong ISO values, you didn't come across this video sooner, I'm gonna show you some quick tips on how you can remove the noise. All right, so the first place for all of you who use Adobe Premiere Pro. There's a free effect that works pretty well called VRT noise. It's pretty straightforward to use, just drag and drop the effect and adjust how strong you want it to be by moving this dial. As you can see zoomed in, this effect can actually make things worse, so use it extremely carefully. This side-by-side -side comparison shows just how effective it is. 
However, when we compare it to a clip that we shot with the same camera, same location at ISO 200, you can see just how much of a difference there is when you use the right ISO and you expose correctly. Now for this next tip, if you're not a Premiere Pro user, Neat Video is a downloadable plugin that you can use on a variety of different platforms. From Final Cut to DaVinci Resolve, and in this example, I'll be using it in Premiere Pro to showcase how even more effective it is than any built-in denoise effect in most editing programs. Before we get started, check the link down below in the description of this video and try it for yourself for free. After you install it, just like the denoise effect, simply drag and drop the effect on your clip. Let's select prepare, then build. This window will appear and show you a snapshot of the clip. The fast and simple way to use this plugin is by selecting auto profile. And in less than a second, the plugin automatically scans your sample clip and selects an area as well as gives you a value to how high the noise level is based on the selection. Now let's go ahead and go into the preview tab to see just how effective this plugin worked. Pretty crazy, right? I've used this plugin for years and it always blows me away at how effective it works, making the worst looking footage, whether it's super noisy or there's something else wrong with the footage, and making it look pretty normal. Here you can see a before and after, and here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison to the correctly exposed shot ISO 200 versus ISO 6400. The Neat Video plugin can do more than just remove noise. So if you think I should make a longer video on this, let me know. If you're interested in learning more about the resources I mentioned, I do have some links down in the description of this video below where you can learn more about the software that I mentioned like Neat Video or Premiere Pro. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm always answering you guys' questions. I always learn something new and I'm always trying to learn every day. So thank you guys for watching. If you got to the end of this video, make sure you like, subscribe and share. And as always, have a great day.